Hi, this is Sally Wood for Be Inspired and today I'm going to be showing you how to cover seat cushions. Well, I'm not going to show you how to do the first cover, I'm, what I'm going to be doing is showing you how to put the plastic cover over the top. These originally have piping on. I am not going to be putting piping on. I do not see the point in putting the cover on, putting the piping on and then wrapping it tightly with plastic. It just doesn't make sense to me. So let's get on with it. Like all upholstery projects, you need to take the cover off. Now, as I was doing this, I noticed that some of these staples have rusted, which means there's been water damage. There was water damage here and here, and a little crack. But as I got closer here, it's really quite badly cracked, and more water damage here. So I will be replacing this with a new chair seat, and I'll take this back to her so she knows that I've done it. So I started pulling this white cover in and out of curiosity, because sometimes you can and sometimes you can't, I decided to see if I could pull the cover in with the plastic and it really wrinkled up. Now I know I haven't done anything really specific with the plastic at the moment, but I don't want this look at all. So I'm going to take the bit of plastic off that I've already put on and I'll start again. I think in the problem is the fact that this is so deep. If it was a shallower fold round, it would be easier. The original chair seat had sewn in corners, which I can't do because of the plastic. So I'll carry on pulling this one in. Like any other cover, not that you can really see, I've already marked my center marks, top and bottom, which I'm gonna pop here. Pull this one over to line up with my line, which is here, like that. This one here, pull it over and line it up with the one here. So this doesn't wriggle around too much. I'm also gonna put a quarter one here and on the other side. Just make sure it looks square on. I'm gonna remove this one because this is the area I'm gonna work on first. Before working on this side, I'm just gonna make sure that there's no little pieces of dust that have managed to get under here because you don't want them showing through. There's a crease here and here from where it was folded and there's various creases in here. Hopefully most of those will go in a minute. I've got this on high heat and high airflow and I'm going to heat it from the center on up. Just a little area first. Just taking the one off the bat, twist that over, double check, nothing. It gets on there by static electricity. Make sure that any things are removed if you can get them. I'm gonna bring that one over the top too. And then I'm gonna start heating again in the middle and work my way back to the top, pulling slightly as I go. Let's kind of put a couple of wrinkles in here. It should be okay. I'm gonna pull this while it's still warm and start shaping it. And the same again, I've taken this side off, recheck this side, I spend a little bit more time heating up any creases and pulling away and that should smooth it out quite nicely. As it softened, pulled it, heated over this side here and I'm just going to pull this one in too. And here again, just twist it into shape while it's still warm. I've just done the same with this, I'm going to concentrate some heat on here and pull it up. This crease here is almost out. I've got a little bit more to do here and a little bit more to do here. Having brought all of this in on all four sides, I'm going to start working in the corner. And usually what I do is I work from here up to pull some of this in. The plastic kind of shrinks just a little bit as you're doing it. And then I'll move in this side here. I've heated it slightly. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull it this way while it's still warm then I'm taking some of the plastic out on this side and then I'm going to do the same. I'm going to work on here and pull that round. Now here again I haven't done it all the way to the corner but I'm going to pull this in while it's still warm to this angle here and then I'm going to work in here. Because the underside has a little pleat I will be putting a little pleat in and then just bringing it in so it's nice and firm. I'm going to work in this side first and then this side. Before I do any more I'm just going to cut round like this, put some of the excess off and then work in this corner here. So I'm going to put my pleat in like that and then just pull all of this in as I heat it. So even the plate can wait until it's heated. 
if you leave it until it's quite warm then the plastic stretches so much and then you don't have too many ripples on the front here to bring in this corner here I'm going to start heating it from about here just a little bit and then here a little bit more because there's a crease in the plastic and I'm going to pull it up and into this area here so it should just all come round with a bit of luck and then not too many pleats at the back. I try to pull it as I'm heating it so that any folds can't go back into it they're stretched out. And then as I come around the top I do a little bit more across the top but put quite a bit of heat on the back here. When I'm happy with the amount that it's stretched, I pull it over and I'll just carry on stapling. Pulling this in to this angle here as I go. I'm going to cut this back a bit so I'm not dealing with so much and up like that. I'm going to bring this little bit in here but not quite to the end corner here. I need to work this in separately, but I do need to pull this plastic over the back slightly, just a little bit. I'll just put one or two staples in here, and then I'm back onto this corner. You can see there's quite a bit here, so I'm gonna bring it up and in like this. With the heat, most of that should come out. And again, concentrate at the top here. Staple it in place, cut it out a little bit more so you're dealing with less and then see how you think the corner is going to go in. I'm going to pull the corner so it goes around and then folds over just like the original corner. Hopefully most of this plastic will stretch into place. I usually heat it and work it so I'll take a little bit more into here so there's not so much plastic on that corner. While it's still a little bit warm, I'm going to just pull this under like that and just heat this corner and pull it in so it's nice and smooth. And I want that to go a little bit more under. There we go. I think I like that a little bit better. The crease is actually on top of the original crease. And I'm going to staple this in. Again, cut that back and do the other sides exactly the same way. Just take your time. Double check there's no mess underneath. I'm looking at this and there's a little bit of stuff there. There's a crease there that I need to work on. I can't get this out. It only shows in certain lights, so I'm not going to worry about that. But I'm going to work this corner in just like I've done on the other side. If you're pulling this in when it's soft, it doesn't tend to wrinkle the fabric underneath. So if I do that, it will wrinkle it. Whereas if you wait till it's soft, it will just pull it in over the top and stretch around where I need it to stretch. You just do little sections. I've taken in a little bit here, but not all of it. So now I'm going to bring it in here and round so that it shapes nicely. Although I've pulled it this way, I'm also pulling it this way while it pulls down. I've pulled it in here. I'm just going to pull this up, round and in here while it's warm. And now I'm going to see if I can fold it on this corner here because that will look better than if I do it anywhere else. So I'm going to heat it from the back just a little bit so it will come in at that angle. Cut it all back. Now this is still warm so I can pull it into position here like that. And I'm going to just heat this and pull it and it will stretch nice and smooth into that corner. That will do. Cut this back as well. Repeat that on my last corner and this chair seat's done. On this little area there's a, quite a deep crease here so I'm going to be very careful while I'm pulling that and it should even out and not be a problem. I think that's come out and I'm going to just pull it over the top and into here and this will come out as well. Thank you for joining me on this project. I hope that I've managed to show you how to get a seamless look with your plastic without big folds in it. I think this lady's going to be really pleased. It didn't come with a bottom cloth so I'm not putting one on but as you can see by pulling all of this around there's no point in putting piping on. It would have just crushed it and made it look really bad. If I look really closely, there's a couple of little flecks of things that still got caught under there. But by and large, I think it looks really neat. Personally, I don't like using plastic. She has a little one. It would make a mess of white seat quite quickly. <laughs> anyway, if you want to see more from me, please subscribe, hit the bell button, and a few thumbs up would be absolutely brilliant. And in the meantime, take care. See you later. Ciao.